Hello, I am Dr. Mukdha Raut. I am going to talk about an interesting aspect of lymphocyte immunization therapy or LIT. That is, LIT is not for all. I am a practicing gynecologist and a clinical reproductive immunologist. We have our centers, Dr. Raut's Center for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, Nagpur, Pune, Delhi, Hyderabad and Bangalore. At these centers, we treat couples with unexplained repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility using lymphocyte immunization therapy or immulate and other immunomodulatory treatments. Once, one couple had visited our center. They said, one of our relatives had come to you for treatment. They had infertility, repeated IVF failures. You gave them this LIT treatment and subsequently she conceived naturally. We also want to take LIT treatment. Will it help us to conceive naturally? The wife was already close to 50 years and the report showed very low AMH. After that couple visited our centre, I started wondering. I realised that people have developed unrealistic expectations about LIT. Looking at the success of LIT, people have started thinking that LIT is a magical treatment that can help couples facing infertility and miscarriages. So I am speaking on this topic, LIT is not for all. Firstly, let me tell you what is LIT. Lymphocyte immunization therapy or LIT is an active immunomodulatory treatment useful in cases with repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility. It is a one-time patented three-hour process at our centre. The couple is asked to plan pregnancy after four to six weeks. However, just because there is a history of miscarriages or IVF failures or infertility, LIT is not recommended. The most important thing in such cases is to investigate for all the known causes of reproductive failures. If any of the causative factor or factors are present, they have to be treated first. Before that, LIT is not given. Even after all the investigations for the factors are done and they are normal, still the couple is not advised LIT. The next step is to do immunological investigations to find out the presence of the alloimmune factor. The immunological tests that are advised are lymphocyte cross match, natural killer cells in the blood, serum TNF alpha levels and if possible the test for endometrial CD57. If lymphocyte cross match is negative and NK cells are high and or the TNF alpha is raised and or the endometrial CD57 is positive, the couple will be benefited by LIT. If the lymphocyte cross match is strongly positive, LIT will not be beneficial and LIT is not for them. Many times we get patients with very low AMH where the ovarian function is significantly reduced. And they ask us whether LIT can increase the AMH levels and then can be conceived naturally. LIT is not for such patients. It doesn't have any effect on AMH. There is one more thing I want to clarify here that if there are associated causative factors like autoimmunity and thrombophilia, even after they are treated, patients may still have miscarriages or IVF failures. In such cases, the alloimmune factor can coexist and such patients 
will be benefited by LIT. As I mentioned before, LIT is given before the patient is pregnant and they are advised to plan a pregnancy 4 to 6 weeks after LIT. However, what if the patient comes already pregnant with a history of repeated miscarriages? Can we give LIT during pregnancy? Yes. LIT can be given in early pregnancy if the immunological investigations indicate so. It has beneficial effects in preventing a miscarriage. So pregnancy is not a contraindication to give LIT and it is safe for the baby. So in conclusion, LIT is an effective immunomodulatory treatment in cases of unexplained repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility. However, it is not for all such patients. It is very important to select the couples who will be benefited by LIT by doing the immunological tests. It is this subgroup of patients who have excellent chances of success. Thank you.